Sickle cell disease is an autosomal recessive disorder that affects hemoglobin structure. This can then lead to abnormally shaped red blood cells. These abnormally shaped red blood cells can block blood vessels throughout the body, leading to acute complications due to vaso occlusion. For example, an acute painful crisis can occur, severe recurrent episodes of pain that last up to five to seven days. They can affect anywhere in the body from central locations to the outer extremities. An acute chest crisis is a life-threatening acute respiratory distress syndrome unique to sickle cell, as well as vaso occlusion. It also has many other factors about why this occurs. And also other thromboembolic disease in both arteries and veins. So we need to think about stroke, TIA, myocardial infarction, and venous thromboembolism. Infection is also important to think about in sickle cell disease. Chronic splenic infarction from vaso occlusion can lead to a splenic dysfunction, hyposplenism. That leads to a vulnerability to bacterial infection. So always think about sepsis in an acutely unwell sickle cell patient.